Well, people who have been there will certainly tell you chemotherapy is tough. It can be scary, it can be lonely, and it can leave you feeling drained. Well, many women who go through it lose their hair, their yeah. eyelashes, their eyebrows. One company out of Anne Arundel County is now trying to make that experience at least a little bit better. 11 News reporter Megan Pringle shows us how. Seeing a patient roll their IV down the hall is a common sight at outpatient chemotherapy at Mercy. What's unusual is seeing this roll in. So I'm going to touch up your eyes, okay? A team of hair and makeup artists volunteer to brighten up the faces and the spirits of women who need it badly. Beautiful. Thanks, sweetie. Patty Groves hasn't been feeling so great lately. I was diagnosed in February and had my mastectomy on my 50th birthday. It's hard, you know. What you go through, it's you know, it's just very emotional kind of thing. You know, it's like a loss, and then and then you lose your hair, so then you feel very unattractive. So this really made me feel good. And that is what keeps these makeup artists coming back. It's a really amazing feeling just being around all these women because they're really strong and positive, and it just puts a smile on their face. The hair and makeup artists come from a local company called Updo's for IDO's. They provide services for women on the happiest day of their life, their wedding day. And now they're doing the same thing for women who are going through some of the toughest times, chemotherapy. My mother was a patient here for many years with breast cancer before she passed away in 09. And so it was really important for me to get back in here and make sure that these women felt the way that I could do things for my mom. It helps. A little makeup goes a long way. The brushes won't conceal cancer, but the company, the pampering, can make these women feel something they deserve. Very beautiful. Don't feel like a patient right now. I feel like I feel glamorous. At Mercy Medical Center, Megan Pringle, WBAL TV 11 News.